What's happening, everybody? It's Beachy with the Boons, and once again, we are back at Pirate Land Campground. Pirate Land started in the 60s, but lately, Carolina Shores has taken over half of Pirate Land, and we're going to show you some of the updates and construction that's going on. Stay tuned. So to get in Carolina Shores, they are putting an off-ramp right here on Highway 17 just before you get to the Pirate Land entrance. And what they're going to do is have their own entrance just a little bit before you get to Pirate Land, right in here. And you can see the entrance right there so if you're coming northbound they've done some construction on this side in the median and they're going to carry this all the way on through so you can turn right here and this will be the new entrance to carolina shores as i cross the street with no cars coming and this is where pirate land used to store all their campers and this is supposedly the new entrance and what they're going to do is put the office here and the new entrance is right across the street from ocean walk housing development you see the turning lanes that they're working on to get on to 17. So it looks like they might be doing something to get into Pirate Land there. I'm not sure, but this is your merging lanes. And if you notice, if you're not familiar with where we are, just a couple of blocks that way is Myrtle Beach. And just about a quarter of a mile this way is Surfside Beach. So whenever you're coming in for the summer, don't get confused or upset by the constructions that you'll see right here past the Pirate Land entrance. Because that is, yes indeed, Carolina Shores starting their entrance. And we heard they were even going to have a guest check-in over there but they have started the construction as you can see they're moving dirt opening gates and putting stop signs okay so this is a inside look at the other side of where carolina shores is going to be placed and that is a lot of land that i've never recognize you know look at all this You're right this, a lot of space in it yeah this is where they stored the campers apparently in a long time ago and i think they're clearing it out so even though carolina shores has purchased half of pirate land pirate land is still updating some of the features on their half and we will show you that as well and as far as we know there hasn't been any indication that they're putting a wall in between is that correct that is correct. We don't see any signs of a wall going up right now. So I guess even this area right here is theirs and who knows if they'll keep it for extra parking or what they'll do. 
because right now it is used from pirate land is overflow parking so right here is where the actual line is supposed to be right here is on carolina shores right and now we're going into pirate land now pirate land said that they're going to take the parking lot from this side and put it into the front of their office but so we'll see that is just hearsay so that's not written in stone anywhere yet so we're going to go down and show you where just a piece of the line supposed to be but there's no wall just to let you know that carolina shores does have a website now that you can check out um just to get more information from them and we will link it in the description below according to the map we are supposed to go from this pole down that way and all of this that you see here is ELS. But we're going to go around and show you some of the improvements that Pirate Land is still doing too, just in case you want to know. And I'm all about facts, so just to show you that there is no sign of a wall being built at this moment. So the store and the laundromat are up and open and stocked very well. That's right. The pool just opened back up. That's right. That's the outdoor pool. And there's still no food and outside beverages allowed in the pool. Hmm. So that has not changed. But now this is the ELS side. That is correct. If you're coming down this summer, you know, everyone can use everyone, the pool and the swim pool. Nothing has changed. Yes, both sides can use the swim pool at this time. That's right. So we're on the Pirate Land side now. And we're coming up on Pirate Land's construction that says they're putting the indoor pool. Right, right here. So it's going to be an indoor pool. It's going to be basketball courts. I think pickle, pickleball. And it's going to be right in this area. Now, this is where the indoor pool used to be. They tore it and the Pirate's Cove down. And they had a community room too and neither one has spoke on or i should say carolina shores or partly has spoke on a community room so yeah we don't know yet they're not going to have one of those now let's head to the beautiful atlantic ocean okay so if you're unaware about this part about a year or two ago they put in what's called the buddy sites in pirate land and you can put two campers a uh, long way on here if you got a friend our buddy. Our buddy. <laughs> My buddy. And this is on the Pirate Land side. And right now, it's currently 71 degrees, but it's supposed to get in, up into the low 80s today. And if you look, it's a lot of people at the beach. Look at that. Mm -hmm. They're, They're taking in that beautiful sunshine. Mm -hmm. Getting ready for summer. And so she's looking up the sea temp. To give y'all a good uh yeah, 64. Oh, wow. was right. He hit it on the dot. I said 64, and it's that's the sea temp, and the actual air temp is what did I say 71. And it's supposed to be in the low 80s. All right. Well, there you have it. There was a quick look right here at uh Carolina Shores and Pirate Land and what's coming around the corner and the construction update. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click that subscribe button. If you hadn't already, remember it's free, 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 and it helps the channel. All right, so we gave you a quick tour. Hope to see you this summer, and until next time, keep beaching. See you in the next video.